I'm sorry, but what the actual fuck are y'all talking about? Huh? What are you talking about? I literally asked y'all who will win in a battle of ice between Kuzan versus Grey Fullbuster. And um, the result is astounding to see. Like, oh my, oh my. Like, I, I can see people saying like, oh yeah, uh, Grey is definitely stronger than Guzan and stuff like that. I can see what y'all coming from. But the, the reason y'all pick, the, the reason y'all even pick Grey, y'all reasoning of why is beyond, is beyond my imagination of how garbage y'all takes are so let's go over um some things about the fight because like um i saw some interesting interesting takes and this is like 45 comments a total of 89 or no 98 votes and I just had to see what the reason is. So, basically, some people agree that El the uh, Kuzan will win. And for a logical reason. But what is the other reasons, huh? Where, what are the other reasons? So, basically, people will say, oh, great, simply outscales um the fact that um uh like gray can eat ice right uh the the fact that they think gray can harm ice itself how can he harm the element that he's using you know like what you can shatter ice i mean it's meant to be shattered because it's like if you hit it hard enough you can shatter it but that's like saying, that's literally like saying you're, you're destroying water, right? That's like, you, you, like, that's like saying you're destroying water. Ice is just frozen, just frozen moisture, moisture. This, that's what it is, it's frozen moisture. So, I just wanted to talk about it, right? Because it's so... It's so bad to do even just like to imagine how dumbfounded people do not understand how these abilities work, right? They, they, they just don't understand. So I, I told myself, I told one of these people uh, that I will uh, do a future video of this of this conversation but i will read what his argument was like his argument was actually a lot better than some of these people on here with their dumbfound logic but uh it's this one right here this really got me to make this video so this i'm i'm gonna read to what it says he says i'm pretty sure gray can eat ice since other slayers do the same with their element and he hasn't done it uh, does, uh, just uh, he just hasn't done it as much as uh, because of um, circumstances but it's explained under ice demon slayer magic but even if I'm wrong about that I seen gray freeze Natsu's end flame which is fair enough right uh, while the best feat I've seen from Aokiji in this fight with Akainu, which lasts for 10 days and changed the landscape. Well, I was like, well, they should really animate this. If they, if I remember correctly, um, but he still lost to Akainu's lava. He's not lava, he's magma. That's totally different things. So th that alone makes me think, no, that Gray's ice has to be colder than Akainu's ice. Now, when he says that, he, I, that doesn't prove that Grace Ice is colder than Akainu's Ice. It doesn't prove that at all. In fact, um, Inville, or whatever his name is, literally says that he is pure ice. 
wizard which he is able to freeze anything not just create things out of ice but he's absolutely able to freeze anything meaning that he's way colder than um than gray it's ice like he, he's able to freeze it right because he's able to freeze anything he has the power of freezing all right um continue on and it's definitely more versatile than uh kuzan's because he can literally fly create clones bows any weapons etc but the only question is about that is we never seen akainu not akainu aokiji aokiji be put in a situation where it determines that if he can be frozen or not but gray has froze uh, frozen an ice user before and gained his abilities with water and fire so i think gray has the bigger arsenal and versatile and colder ice now sir uh if you're watching this video i'm gonna go over why um that doesn't make any lick of sense okay kuzan is literally the natural element of ice do you not know what natural means right it means the very very fundamental of ice he is ice he is the properties of ice his body has the properties of ice he's able to freeze anything he touches he able to create the cold air he's able to freeze the moisture to form his body right he is a force of nature well part of that you do not understand he is a force of nature thus why they call logias logias mean nature they are nature part of nature itself how can you freeze ice i mean envil did it but great sure the hell can't do that like he can't do that envil can do that or whatever his fucking name is right he can freeze ice it doesn't really even matter for gray because even with his ice um ice demon slayer magic he's still able to to freeze because he's resistant to the cold and yes people are going to bring this up slayers are immune to attacks of their element and yes i have seen that scan but do you not know what that means it's saying that they are immune to attacks of the element doesn't mean they're immune to their effects right so for gray's case it's literally stated by anvil right that he is able to freeze gray he's going to freeze him solid he's going to freeze him solid it doesn't matter how resistant he is he's going to freeze him solid because that he has the power of freezing he's not he's resistant to the cold he's not immune to the cold so for the same thing for kuzan kuzan if he's going to throw attacks like ice attacks at um a gray no they are ineffective because you know gray is going to say like ice don't work on me then okay well guess what kuzan not only has hockey right observation hockey ornament hockey and he's able to regenerate too um from like getting broken into pieces because his body is literally made of ice so not only that but he's able to use the cold air to f instantly freeze things he can use ice time to basically freeze your insides and stuff like that just like what Envil was doing he can freeze anything so there are many ways kuzan can win this fight and it's because that one little detail and it's the, it's literally called context it's called context okay slayers are not immune to the effects of their element all right for Natsu's case he's highly resistant like for any slayer's case they're highly resistant to their uh to the effects but they're not immune they are immune to the attacks of from the said element so if i were to say like okay um for Natsu's case 
Um, if you use Natsu versus uh, versus Ace, Ace cannot just use fire attacks directly because they're not gonna work on him. They're not gonna work on him. They're not gonna work on him. And for Natsu's case, he can be burned if the fire is hot enough. Like it happened once when he used he used his own soul, he ignited his own soul and it burned his flesh. Um the second time that he ate the fire dragon god's flames, Ignea. And just just being powered up alone from that literally burned through his flesh. It gave him a power up, but he burned through his flesh. It was too much to bear. That's what I mean. There are limits to what they can handle. For Gray's case, he's he is going to get frozen one way or another. All all clues I have to do is grab him. He can grab him and start to freeze him. Sure, Gray can just hop out of the way. And he could do all, all he wants, right? He could do all he wants. But at the end of the goddamn day, he is made of ice and you cannot harm ice. You can't do that. You can't harm ice. Gray has magic, yes. But it, the magic allows him to manipulate the element of ice. But that's it. He cannot harm it. He cannot harm ice. So, with that being said, I think Kuzan can win this. Because why? Gray can run out of magic power sooner or later if he somehow just dodges all of Kuzan's attacks. Which is highly unlikely because like Kuzan is definitely MFTL plus. But we're not gonna go into there. We're just talking about the win cons of this fight. All right. He can literally outlast him. Kuzan cannot get tired. He he ain't gonna get tired. He fought for ten fucking days. On a landscape with an elemental user that counters ice. And yes, he did lose. I give you that. He did lose. But he did damage a kind of. He damaged him. He actually left a good scar on him. It did cause him arm and leg. But that is the fact right there. That is the fact. Kuzan can last 10 days in a fight. Gray cannot. He can last like, I guess what, 30 minutes tops to an hour until he starts getting tired. Now, for the whole thing about Gray eating ice, now, it's never, ever, ever been shown he can able to do that. Like, I mean, yes, he has the ice slaying magic. Oh, well, uh, demon slaying magic. He can eat, he has the potential to eat ice, but he just don't do it. He just don't. He had never once ate ice. Never once. So we can't just give that to him unless he's shown to do it or or shown he's capable of doing that. Yes, he has the power, but we don't know like the full extent of what it actually can do, you know? For all we know is that the full demonization of, of this uh, power allows him to eat ice and stuff like that but it's only partial so only partially like he can use that power we don't know we don't because he never uses to eat anything he doesn't use it to eat ice so we can't just give that to him that's like saying like rock lee can use he has the ability of eight gates so he can do exactly what fucking guy can do no if he's never shown to use it you just can't give it to him but you can say he he is able with the passive the passability passiveness of his ice demon slayer magic he can be immune to ice attacks i say i would not rule out that it is not a possibility but it's just not shown yet even in the sequel um it's not shown him eating ice which is so fucking weird it's just it's so weird I don't know why he's not eating ice. I just don't get it. But, yeah, that's going to be the video, guys. I think Kuzan will win this. Like, there are possible ways that Gray can... 
I don't know, do something to like apprehend him, but it won't be long because the dude is literally made of ice and he could just manipulate his body and just like, come on now. He can regenerate from any attack that great throws at him. I'm just saying, guys, just think about it. Just really think about it. I'm just giving some good pointers here. Some good pointers. And I think Kuzan really does counter all of Gray's abilities here. And for who knows? Like, since he is made of ice, how the how is Gray even going to um, beat him? How is he going to harm him? It would it even do? Would it even would it harm him? I mean, he's ice. What's ice going to do to ice? Destroy it. It's, that's it. It's going to destroy it, but he can just reform it. You know, stuff like that. So, with that being said, guys, that's going to be the video. Like I said, let me know what you th guys' thoughts on this topic. Okay? And I will see you guys in, in, like, in the next video. Okay? Whew. Peace.